Let's do a quick unboxing of Back to the Future Back in Time. This game was designed by Prospero Hall and published by Funko Games. It can be played by two to four players. And as we take a look at the front of the box, you can tell the type of artwork that the publisher was going for. And it's really, really nice artwork. And on the back of the box, you can see some of the components laid out and how it would look when you're playing the game. Something that really stood out about this uh, this game was the artwork. Uh, it's very uh, poppy, I guess you can say, very colorful um, and very consistent throughout the game. So it's very pleasing uh, to the eye when you see the game and when you start playing with it. The box uh, has a matte feel. Uh, it's pretty hefty. There are a lot of components in this box and it's very well packaged. Um, as you can see here, the the way it's presented, it's it's really nice. Uh, you have the actual board game, and it's wrapped in in plastic. You can see the um, flux capacitor there, and we'll open that later. And then you're presented with a comic book um, themed instruction booklet. You can see all the components laid out there. You can see some of the artwork and. Uh, I really really like the way this uh, instruction manual is laid out and the way it explains everything that you know all the components and all the rules you have to go through and it's really well designed and uh, easy to read it's really really nice very creative uh, the way this uh, instruction manual was put together then we have some other components here and we'll show some of the pieces that go on this later on Then we have some of the miniatures here. This is uh, the DeLorean. The DeLorean is made out of uh, plastic. Uh, it's fairly light, but you can see some of the nice details here. We'll take some close-up shots later on. But uh, it's really nice. It's not a bad looking miniature. Here we have some of the uh, other miniatures, some of the uh, player pawns. Each one is has a different color. The detail is okay on these. They're um, okay. You know, they're small, but you can tell what, what is what and who is what. Um, so even though they're not the most detailed miniatures, they're fine uh, as pawns for the game. They could have been just generic pawns, but uh, it's nice that they're actually uh, figures from uh, characters from the movie. Now these dice here are colorful. Um, they continue with the same color theme um, as the pawns, and they are have they have some nice weight. Um, they have some nice icons, very bright, very easy to see. So they're really nice dice. And we have some of the cards here. And you'll notice that the artwork continues in all these cards. Um, really well done artwork, very consistent, very fun. The color theme is the same with the dice, with the cards, with the pawns. Very well designed. Enjoy very much the artwork in this game. Same with the back of the cards. The back of the cards have their own uh, special artwork also. Here are some of the items that can be played with the game. Same consistent artwork and uh, color. Here we have some of the um, trouble cards. There was a lot of artwork that went into this game. A lot of work from the illustrators. 
very well done. Here's some cardboard uh, pieces, some tokens. They're standard cardboard pieces, so uh, nice thick uh, feel. Here's some more cardboard cutouts, some of the power tokens for the different players and other markers. And there are a lot of them. Now let's look at the um, the dice tower that uh, you're able to assemble. And also some of the player uh, cards. The dice tower is easy to assemble. It's not complicated and um, when you put the game away you can easily store it. Here's the turn tracker for for the uh, for the game. Here are some of the player boards. And they're nice and big, uh, so you can uh, have a nice layout in front of you with the artwork of your player. Um, it's very well done. Kind of reminds me of um, uh, cards that they use for like a, a show or something with the logo in the back. Nice, heavy card stock. Now let's look at the board game. The board game comes wrapped. Carefully wrapped in this in the cellophane, and I like how it's uh, presented with the um, flux capacitor. And you'll notice that the color and the theming is all the same throughout the game, very consistent, and it's a beautiful um, board game. Some of the details here. Just a preview of how the game will look on the table. Looks great, looks colorful. Thanks for watching this video of Back to the Future Back in Time board game.